Mr. Speaker, having an official embassy is very, very important. I know we have challenges given that there was some confusion on our diplomatic ties with the country of Sarai, which is neighboring Morocco. But I think it is important. As a country, having a physical diplomatic mission assists the Foreign Department to be able to have together intelligence about the economy of that country, to be able to understand the position of that country. It also enhances trade between that, the, those two nations. So I think it's about time. And when we think of, of ourselves as an African continent, it is about time that we try to embrace each other and understand one another. The current occupier of the house in the hill has been advocating the need to open Kenya for all Africans. So the best way to be able to open Kenya for all Africans is to be able to ensure that we have representation, you know, in each and every country. So I think the issue of Morocco, Morocco has really supported this country a lot. We get a lot of fertilizer from Morocco, from the Kingdom of Morocco. So I think it is imperative that we bring our brothers closer so that we know how we can be able to deal with it. Well, at that, Mr. Speaker, I think also we have to play a critical role in educating some of those characters who represent us in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, I was shocked. I was literally shocked. When I saw the PS, Mr. Abraham Singwai Korir, really attacking the Speaker of this House and saying that the Speaker of this House cannot be able to meet and discuss issues to do with diplomacy. Mr. Speaker, you know people have selective amnesia. If you look at the previous administrations, and these offices that we hold are not offices that belong to an individual. These are offices which transcend individuals. In the last dispensation of the Jubilee administration, the former president of this country, His Excellency Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, extended an invitation to the uh, Republic of Somaliland, and they had, they were building diplomatic ties. I think it is imperative, Mr. Speaker, that this House, and particularly the Committee on Foreign Affairs, to summon the current PS of Foreign Affairs, my friend uh, Abraham Singhoi Korir, to come here and explain. Because it is, it is ridiculous. You know, sometimes we make certain comments which we do not understand the unintended consequences. It is hypocritical for someone who has served as an advisor to the government to be able to go and make statements to attack a very powerful you know, institution. The Senate is very powerful. The Speaker of the Senate is almost number four in leadership in this country. So really, how can a PS who is approved by this House go in and castigate a Speaker? So Mr. Speaker, when we're talking about this issue of diplomacy, issues of opening embassies abroad, issues of bringing these countries all together, Recently, we, uh, we uh, admitted Somali into the East African community. Why is it wrong if people are able to recognize Somaliland as a nation within a nation? Why is it wrong for the Speaker of this House to be able to meet with dignitaries from that country? So, Mr. Speaker, I think it's about time that we stand firm, defend this House, defend the leadership of this House, and ensure that we can be able to go together as a nation. Yesterday, Mr. Speaker, we were arguing here about the welfare of our citizens, of our staff. There are things that do not require politics, Mr. Speaker. There are things which are important. Today, I get a phone call from one of this, our suppliers who, is, who, 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 who assists our um, constituencies' offices, that he could not be able to take his child to the hospital because my office has not paid for things that they supplied for the operations of our, of our county offices. 
So if we cannot sit here and talk, anytime we raise issues, it's a problem. You hear someone in the executive coming here and castigating this house. I think it's about time that we make a firm determination. And this statement by the distinguished senator from Migori should be one that can be able to converse all these issues. Not only the issue of Morocco, but also the issue of Somaliland, so that we can put everything to rest. And finally, as I sit, Mr. Speaker, I really would like to request the same, same Committee on Foreign Relations to someone Abraham Korir Singwe to come and explain why, why he took to social media to castigate the speaker of this house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.